every other yard sale. Is oh, is she that does like me? <laughs> That's funny, honey. Good morning. Good morning, friends. Thanks for joining me for another video. Be sure and stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to bring you guys a jewelry haul. I love Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> yeah, we have one kid's room decorated in Alice in Wonderland and the other one in Peter Pan. Oh, cute. Do you have any jewelry? No jewelry. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, two, that's two. fine. All right, thank you. Good morning. Any jewelry? jewelry um, Any jewelry? Uh -uh. Okay. Sorry. But we have like headbands. And... Okay, thank you. Good day. Is this for sale? Yes, ma'am. How much is it? Three dollars. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. I thought this little lightweight uh, shelving system would be great to put some knickknacks on in my antique booth. Good morning. Good, how are you? So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm using a different camera mount. The mount that I'm using um, for the videos, for the rest of this video, <laughs> is um, mounted in the center of my chest. So let me know if you think this is a better view uh, compared to my backpack where the mount is usually on my right shoulder. I feel like you can definitely see eye level better like on the table at the things that I'm looking at. But I'll be anxious to hear what you guys think. Thank you. Good morning. Have you been busy today? A little bit, trying to get rid of everything. I said, I don't want to yeah. put that in the garage. I don't want to right? move it. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't get rid of this weekend and we'll be left out there for people to Yeah, I don't blame you. It's so hot, there's hardly any garage sales today. It's crazy. Oh, is she? That sounds like me. <laughs> That's funny. I need to call her find out where all the sales are. I got some jewelry at an estate sale. I am loving estate sales lately, especially when it comes to the jewelry. A lot of times the jewelry is overpriced, but every now and then you can go to some sales and get some really good deals. So I'm going to set the camera down and show you guys up close what I got. Okay, hopefully this is working and you guys can see everything okay. So the first thing I wanted to show you is this pretty little pair of matching peacocks. I mean, I would call them scatter pins. Wait, this might be too close. Let's take this out a little bit. But they're exactly the same. I think they're a little bit too big to be considered scatter pins. But they're in really good condition. They are have they do have a little bit of paint loss on the enamel. But other than that, really great. Signed art. And so I did look up on eBay and these can sell for up to around $60 just for one of them. So that was a great purchase. So I haven't decided yet if I will sell these on whatnot or probably maybe put these on eBay and Etsy too. Cross post them to Etsy. And then this cute little zebra here. Love the zebras. This one isn't signed, I don't believe. Super cute. Now look at this owl. <clears throat> Super cute little guy. And I've never even heard of this brand before. It is Jomaz. So I did pay up for this one too. But I think he can go for about, seems like 50 or 60 as well. I looked it up. Really cute little guy. And then this little Dancraft. Is it Dancraft or Dancraft? Uh, it's a little kitty cat and a little bird. Looks like they're on a bird bath. And it's signed right there. And look at these copper earrings. I looked these up and somebody is selling a similar pair. I'll try to remember to insert them here in the video. And they're calling them Southwestern Bell Vintage Copper Earrings. Pierced, really cool looking, mid-century vibes. And a Mickey Mouse one. I think this one's made of some kind of rubber or maybe even plastic. 
Let's see what it says on the back. Made in China. Oh, I got it upside down. <laughs> the Walt Disney Company. Monogram Productions, made in China. So I think this one's pretty old. Like that one. I picked up this uh, green seed bead necklace. Really nice statement piece. It's huge. Several layers, strands, like, gosh, probably about 15. There's so many of them. And now these two little ones, these little vintage ones here, I paid $5 each for these. So I definitely paid up. But I saw one is selling similar online for like $112. It hasn't sold yet, but this one is marked on the back, made in Italy. And it definitely has that vintage looking clasp. Let me see if I can make it a little brighter. It's a little bit better. Let me undo this so you guys can see. Made in Italy. And um, I guess I think they call this like some kind of mosaic, a vintage mosaic. So I am excited to get that one listed. And this one is the round one, kind of like in a cameo style. Really pretty. I think it's meant to be worn like um, horizontal. There's the pin on the back. And look at this one. I think this is a bird of paradise. This one is gorgeous. Unfortunately, it does have some missing stones on the till. But I thought it was really a really pretty piece. And this one is not marked. And <clears throat> I love the vintage 60 type flowers. The enamel ones, the metal ones. Really cool. Here is another green one. Love that one. And then look, I've never seen the earrings. These are really cool. Aren't those pretty? I love those. Bear clip. Oops. And then this one, like a turquoise colored flower. This one is marked here on the stem but I cannot for the life of me make out what it says. It's that one and this huge white one, look how big it is. Love that one. I probably need to get in there and clean that one up with a, an old toothbrush and some soapy water. It's a little dirty there in the center. And, oh, this one here is signed Coro. Has a little iridescent AB stone there in the center. And it's signed Coro right there. Uh, these are really pretty. I think these are like, I don't know, like little violet purple flowers. Vintage clip on earrings and the back is marked Austria. So I thought those were really unique looking. So I grabbed those. These have that Native American vibe to them. They are not real silver. I don't know if the stone's real or not. I haven't tested it. And they're vintage clips, unmarked. Oops. Look at this cute little pink one. I love the pink one. And then the blue one, I really picked up a lot at this one estate sale. This one is not marked, but gosh, it's huge. And then the last piece I want to show you guys is this necklace. Now, I have sold necklaces like this before. And it is marked. Let me make sure what it says. Yeah, Australian crystal. And then it says USA on it. 
that's marked right there. And this one's super long. I love the multicolored ones. They're so pretty. But yeah, I've sold similar ones for the like this one for $30, $40. And this one is probably the biggest one I've ever seen as far as like the width of the crystals. Really pretty. So again, I haven't decided if this will go online or if it will go directly on whatnot. I might have a sale on whatnot with, you know, a little bit higher end items. Uh, so you guys, if you're not on whatnot, be sure and check out my link down below. I do auctions at least three or four times a week. I'm having so much fun over there. I sell a ton of jewelry and I'm going to be venturing out to other things like the estate sales and stuff like that and selling some, selling some of my finds that I get at the garage sales. So be sure and come join me over there. And if you like this jewelry haul, let me know. I'll try and start including them at the end of my videos because I do come across a ton of jewelry every single week, it seems like. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what your favorite piece on the board was in the comments down below. And we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.